all right what is up youtube today once again we are playing some more eidolon beast uh eidolon zombies that's what i'm supposed to say and we have opened up pretty we actually opened up really good now what we can obviously do is definitely start off with the young omega combo um sadly we do not have a zombie on the board now we can now we can sit this in defense send the two star right no, we can send the two star and then set these three um, and just like hope to win, which actually might be a good play. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just try it this one time. Let's sit here and let's 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 see if we can win. I'm literally setting up because this is a is a pretty good actually. This is a really good hand. Now this twin twister should get rid of any back row. As alone with the swallow slash, and with the swallow slash, we can banish. Um, we could probably, but banish the. Uh, we could banish Bushi. We could probably do that. We could probably banish Bushi. Sorry if I get a little loud. I'm just trying to look for the keyboard so I can hold A or S because they once again didn't fix these. Um, unless I have something on that's oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Um, I don't think I want to unless it's like a. Okay, well then dragon, you know what? No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because um like I said, I don't think he's gonna pendulum summon a Dinko Saka. Okay, what do you do? Um This card cannot be destroyed. if this card is destroyed by battle, I can eat okay. Um Alright, then didn't, didn't understand that whole play. But maybe there's something uh see look, there you go. That's all that's all I needed to see. He does that. And so what we can do is we can um we can swallow slash. Yeah, I think that might be the better option. Bam, right? We can swallow slash, hit you and hit you. Um, that's not protecting anything. Bam, bam, and then we could banish the chief. We could banish this. That's to pop this, and force him to do it, and then leave him with like two. But I don't want him to have like a pendulum call. Well. If he has pendulum call, I don't think there's anything we can do. Um, fuck it. Uh, um, no, if he had pendulum call, I'm pretty sure he would activate it first. No, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Uh, let's hopefully this this play doesn't. No, I don't need to change another card. Uh, hopefully this doesn't fuck us over. And maybe I shouldn't have did this because I do not know what these pendulum crap. Okay, what do you do? You cannot target spellcasters. Your opponent cannot target spellcasters. You control with the spell cards is that a what do you do once a turn if it destroys okay that doesn't do anything um did he have a net oh wow he had scales but none of that's gonna happen oh, wait. oh shit i should have read it hold on time out let me go back no did, did okay what do you do um uh if the face up magician pendulum engines leaves the field to add more magician oh wow that's that's pretty good um, but we're going to just hit both because we don't want our, our opponent to have anything. And do we run the wind one? I think we do. Oh, that's, that's, that's really good. Uh, do we run the wind one? Uh, yes, we do. So we can, that's easy. 32. Yeah, that's game, right? 32, 32 and, um, 32 and, uh, 50, uh, for that all. what do you call it? 3,200 and, um, 50 something is game. So let's just. That is that is that is game. So um, this, this this card is just they're gonna have to do something to this because oh let me make sure I click the right one because you know how you know how you did you know you know how, uh, what's the name Devpro gets you want to do some dumb stupid shit so we're gonna do this uh we're gonna go for the wind do we have an Earth oh Mizuki we do have a Mizuki we're gonna go with this even though I know that he does not have anything it it's okay uh, just in case. Just in case some random shit happens, and like we don't, we don't uh, what's the name? We don't have a game. Don't need the chain. Don't not need the chain. As a matter of fact, let's hold S because we don't want anything to uh, to what's the name. So we can just do this, right? And it's you. Matter of fact, we're not gonna hold S because I don't know what's going on with that pro. And we're gonna summon the zombie synchro because. Uh, it's just better to waste that than to waste the um the, the actual one you can actually go into. Uh and then we can go into a Shogun Saga. And we can get game. 
which was a fast two-turn victory. Pretty cool, I, I should say so. Pretty, very cool. And even if we don't have game, we can still do more shit next turn. You know what? And you know what? Let's just do that. So just in case, even though he doesn't have anything, this is the proper play. You don't want to waste this. You would rather just, you know, get game with this, you know. You never know what your opponent, even though this is like, I don't even know what I'm saying. This is just like guaranteed game because I'm pretty sure that shit does not have no type of, um, do I have to hold this? Have no, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, I'm pretty sure, oh shit, I thought I pressed activate. I was about to cry, but I can just turn this to defense, so. Uh, quick victory. That's pretty cool. You know what? We can just go into game two. Starting off pretty decent. Starting off real decent. This is this is better than decent. It's really good. It's turning, so that actually paid off to um to just set up for next turn. Uh, let's get. All right. So I like to take this time to go ahead and say if you guys do enjoy this video, definitely leave a like. Um, let me know what you think about the video by leaving a comment. Also, subscribe if you have not already. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. on the dot every week. Um, so you guys get three videos a week and whatnot. And also, if you guys can, please click add to help support the channel. Um, so, uh, he milled pretty good. I I'm, I'm cool with this. But then again, that's, that, what are you doing? That's kind of bad because that means that um he's going to just mill like straight three lights. Oh, whoa. Never mind. We're, he's just milling perfect. This is, this is, <laughs> oh, no, he's playing Union Hanger. Oh, my God. So he's playing this too. Um, Soul Charge does nothing. Uh, all right. So, hmm. Now, what we can do is definitely, hmm. Uh, let's see what we can do. Now we can just go charge warrior. And like, hmm, no. We can go, uh, no dweller. We can go so I can pop this. Right? Summon this. No. Tribute. Bam. Special. Oh, we can, we can just pop that back to the hand, huh? I think that's what we're going to, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I think that's there. I think that's really what we want to do. Unless there's something else I'm not seeing. Hmm. Now I could uh wait a minute, what do I wanna do? You know what? I wanna play it safe, but I know that if he just gets going I lose. Um Fuck it. Let's just let's just let's just see what we can do. Let's just see what they do. like. Us. This is like the worst time to be doing this. This is like the literally worst time to be doing this shit because you definitely don't want to leave a Minerva on board. If, if you guys never played against Minerva, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what this does. You never want to leave a damn Minerva on the board. And, and I'm about to do that stupid mistake right now. Now, unless we draw, no, that's what the fuck I meant to add. Um, I'm gonna leave it in attack mode. I'm gonna get rid of this though. I'm I'm not gonna leave that on board. This is very scary to be okay. Well, that's pretty good. Um, I'm definitely getting rid of this unit hanger because that's just gonna that's just gonna cause problems. Um, yeah, this is definitely get rid of the unit hanger. I set this. He does play JD, so I, I don't really want to set on my back row. Um, I want him to run into this actually. Uh, we just gotta, we just gotta hope. He's probably gonna mill three lights one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, oh wait, that's all. That wait, didn't he search an A? So that's all three judgment dragons. Now, unless he plays multiple, yeah, he he, he searched it. Wow, that fucking sucks. Well, he he doesn't have he doesn't have ABC yet. Oh, never mind. Well, he can't do this again, so I'm not tripping. Oh, this is going to mill the C. Oh, fuck. I thought I was going to cry. I was really going to cry because that would have been horrible. Um, now, we can go. We can actually do a lot of plays with this. 
Omega? Okay, I'm not tripping about Omega. Just attack both. Now we can just go, we can go Dweller. We can go Dweller. Or, uh, no, because he doesn't run reviving. So we know he has an A that's pretty much dead in his hand. Okay, I don't care about that. That was dumb. That's really good. That's really good. That is really, really good, actually. You have winds, right? Does he have a wind in there? I have a wind in my graveyard. So what I can do is I can definitely just go clear wing. Right? I can go clear wing and then go into that card. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go clear wing. I'm going to go you. Hopefully this this doesn't this doesn't backfire. Let's get you out. We don't play any other level good sixes, right? Um, let me see what else do we play? Okay, we only play Samurai Saga, not good sixes, but you know what I meant. We don't play anything else that's uh. Hmm. Now you know what? What we really can do is we. Oh, that that's smarter. Never mind. That's way smarter. That's way smarter. Fuck going into the wind one. I can literally just get over this right now. By summoning this, right? Use this effect. No, we don't need to negate. Uh, we can get this and just banish his turtle. We can banish his turtle. And then go into the light one. Come on. We can go into the light one, right? What is this one? Okay, I almost fucked up because I... It, the other one requires like an extra deck synchro and it would have banished one from my uh, it would have banished this uh where is it okay we can banish this turtle right special summon this then we can use this to put this back so now only what is this once we turn all right so we can not only put this in a grave but we can dodge it we can literally get over omega um and we want to attack with the highest price because you never know what, what's going on See, look, now he can't attack over this, and we can negate the, we can, we got basically two negations. Um, he can't attack over either of them, so that's pretty good. He has a dead A in his hand. I can literally just, I can, yeah, I'm going to just, hmm, I can do that, huh? What? Up? And he gets banished, right? Oh, yeah, and he gets banished, so now he doesn't even have one. Uh, and I still have a crystal wing negate, and I believe I do have a Unizombie, right? I'm not mistaken, I have a unit on me in my graveyard, right? Alright, yes we do. But we can't do anything else with it. But you know what? We can sure set up for the next turn. Um, we can definitely get you. And we're getting Regeki back, so we can stop. Not only can we stop an Omega, we can stop... Uh, we can stop uh, a, a spell also. Even though he only has an A in his hand. So, I mean, like uh, this is this is just pretty good. Um, we're gonna send this. Probably should have sent the uh, what's the name? Yeah, most likely. Yeah, we probably should have did that. Probably should have sent this, the uh, the level four one. Uh, we should have sent the level four one because uh, we sent that. Oh yeah, he loses connection. Okay, there we go. That was good. That was good. We didn't fuck up. Um, yeah, like I said, man, this is why I wanted to add the extra ones because you know, just in case you're going against like the most played decks. You want to have that this one little, you know, out card or that trump. I mean, that trump, you, you can use it to basically banish one of their good cards out of their graveyard that they need. And so this is the reason why I wanted to play that. But hold on. Let me, hold on one second. Let me see something. All right. Uh, what I was thinking about was, at, 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 <clears throat> excuse me. What I was thinking about was adding Nether Soul um, because with Nether Soul, now this is, this is okay. Thank you, thank you, Vlad the Blood. Uh, yeah, I don't. Okay, all right. So now we're going up against Prodder G. If it says on the E, you know that's completely wrong. Uh, well, that was obvious. But um, yeah, I was thinking about adding another soul because this can fusion summon any uh, fusion monster from your extra deck. So that means right, like right here, I can go Nether Soul. Like you know, I can just bam, bam, Nether Soul. What's going on? What's going on? Holy shit. 
Okay, look at that. See, like right here, I can go Nether Soul and then sink. You know what I mean? Like all these, like that. That's that's pretty good. Um, damn it, goddamn Gee Turtles. I hate this game. Um, send one monster to your grave. Special. What do you do? I don't care. Uh, special summon one monster from your main deck and one pendulum or something. What do you do? If you control a performance, a magician, a card, and the other pendulum, you can make this scale of seven. Wow. Um, this is kind of an awful play. Jesus, this is really awful. Um, he's just gonna add a lizard draw, but this none of these are getting cleared out of your scale. This is bad. Horrible. Yay! This sends, right? Yay! Mizuki! That's what I wanted to send. That's what I want him to send. Dweller? No, he's gonna go with that. Uh, we need a Sage. Sage would fix literally everything right now. What does this do? Okay, so you have a Moray Agreed. That's pretty good. Oh, okay, well that's, that's really good. That really might help. Um, yeah, we could definitely just add this. Does he have a light in his grave? I think he, he might have a light in his grave. He might. I don't know. I don't think he does. He has a dark. He has another dark. He has an earth. Okay, well, that didn't... I can't do that by going into the... Wait a minute. Okay. All right. We can go into the fire one. We can attack over both of these. Gonna do this, right? Alright, this is this is turning out pretty okay. Oh fuck, what is that? What can that be? I think it's a strike. Oh man, I think it's this fucking strike. I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be really upset if that's a strike. Do I wanna go with this though? Yeah, I do. I do ooh, fuck. Yeah, I have to go with this. I'm pretty sure he's gonna strike the shit out of me, but that is a strike. You join to a strike. And you know what I'm upset about? This doesn't prevent you from uh, this special summoning. You just you can just activate this. Yeah, it was a strike. Okay. So it doesn't matter though. We can just attack over both. And we have everything set up for next turn. Sadly, this is not a zombie, so that sucks. Um, but hey, uh, all we have to do is find a way to banish. <laughs> Our Alistair out of the graveyard, and we're 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 really back in a good position. But he's down to three. There's no more sorcerers in his deck because they're all in the graveyard. Um, I don't know what the fuck he's gonna. Okay. Oh shit! Don't tell me you got a fucking spell in your hand. You you you're just a genius. Oh no, you do not have a spell in your hand. Okay, now you're gonna get your ass with. Ooh, so you know what I'm gonna do, right? So I'm going to go normal summon this, right? Ooh, this pierces too. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate, bam, and we're going to banish. Okay, no, he surrendered. Why? You know what I was thinking? That I had a fucking solitary engrave, so I was going to be able to special summon both of them. Now, that none of that would have worked like I thought it was going to work. But, hey, you know what? We got a victory. He did quit because I uh, guess he didn't have no replace. I don't... I didn't understand this whole deck, but uh, I guess, I don't know if it's an OCG deck or something like that, but yeah. All right, man, we're doing pretty good, doing pretty So I just noticed that if I would have, if I would have normal something, he would have stroked me. Um, I don't know why I keep saying it like that. <laughs> that sounds so nasty. <laughs> He's fucking stroked me. That's just, that sounds disgusting, actually. But um, <clears throat> yeah, if he would have striked me, uh, it would have actually been kind of better. No, no, because I wouldn't have been able to do that play. Actually, wait. I think I probably would have. I don't know. I got to read it. I, I, yeah, I think so. I think I would have. Just be able to send it from my hand. Um, send, send from my hand to the grave. I still would be able to do the same play. But I would have sent the two-star in that occasion. Because of next turn, it would have been, you know. But this is... This is pretty good, man. That, that card right there. This card... This... Oh, this little idol engine is very, very good. Now with Brilliant Fusion, it makes it really like, like really unfair. And I think that would just that would boost the deck by also, but also once again making it very, uh, you know, uh, very I guess uh, 
uh, susceptible to breaking. Ooh, I was holding caps lock in that fucking A. And I would have got my shit cheese on if he would have just normal summon something. But let's just go ahead and hold this A button. Um, uh, well, since we did, and I, I didn't want to go for the little, the little first turn. Actually, could I? Yeah, I could have went for a first turn play. But I do have a strike set, and I do have this. So, like, this, all this is just pretty, really, really, really good. Um, but yeah, man, this Eidolon stuff is, is, is really good. This is really fucking good. Brain Fusion would just... What the fuck does that do? I don't... Oh, no. Did it glitch? I think it glitched. No, it didn't. What do you do? If you control no monster, spell some of his hand. Just quite spell some. You can spell some of one from hand to graveyard. So I'm guessing he's not activating it, or is he thinking... Cause they didn't give me no type of chance to respond with my Omega because I damn sure would have did it. Oh, you're getting Omega, sir. Or woman. Or ma'am. Wait, ah, oh, shit. Press people. Why? Oh, my God. Is he going to get me? I think he's going to get me. And I'm going to strike the shit out of him. Because I've been seeing this goddamn one. What is this card? Hmm. That's pretty good. That's that's really good. One double wing. This is an aqua. Uh, got a text, or maybe a, a YouTube notification. Oh, from Dwayne McFadden. Shout outs to Dwayne McFadden. Um, well yeah, let's see what this this deck is. Uh, I'm not gonna say a bad. I'm not gonna say bad because you know it's it has this little combo. It does have a little combo. I have not. Re I've seen like couple of replays with it but you know nothing really too major so I can't sit here and say that it's bad and that's not what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna say that it's bad I'm just let's see what he can do let's see what he can do but this solemn strike is gonna hurt his feelings and I don't know if I can possibly but if he wins oh I can possibly get game next turn this is this shit makes this deck really unfair I mean not this deck but this this little this little um interaction it makes a lot of decks um it, it, it can really boost a lot of decks to push for game rather easily because not only the fact that you only you don't even need like literally you don't even need like you don't even need to use your own card this right here is goes one you get it you get a free search so that's already a plus one activate it search another one that's another plus one and you banish him from your graveyard which can be a plus one then you you put it back in your deck to put it back so that's what Plus one, plus two. That's pretty much a plus fucking three. And you can discard it to boost by a thousand. That shit is ridiculous. And like, they're all a hundred. So like, <laughs> if I go into that one that pierces, like, fuck, you're going to, like, there. What happened, Arrow? Is that what it's supposed to be? Is it AA row? I don't, I don't understand this whole time. You just sat there with, you didn't know how to play the deck. Um, all right, so we're on 23 minutes, so that means this is uh, one more duel. Hopefully, we can get a good. All right, so here we go with the last duel of the day against Pot of Glee, and let's see if we got a Pot of Glee in our hand when we really have a great hand. Uh, this is just fan fucking tastic. The only thing that's bad is that we don't have nothing to use this with, and that's what, man. This, that's just one thing. Wow. Okay, never mind. He quits. I was really tempted to just send the two star and end my turn. Now that I'm looking at the okay, now see like this right here is just I now I have to do something now. This is awful. This is fucking awful. Thanks, Death Row. This is what the hell you want to leave us with? Um, I'm still tempted to actually do it, but um no no, I don't think it would be a good idea to do it. But yeah uh. With that hand last turn, I actually I could have just sent the two star, you know, and just and just sat on the sat on the trap, and hopefully with the trap we wouldn't get OTK. Because a lot of people, surprisingly, I mean to me, they don't not play Twin Twister or any type of back row removal, so like they'll run straight into a back row. <laughs> Excuse me, but yeah, they'll run straight into a back row and just like fucking wild, you know, just. Just do, you know, YOLO. There you go. That old ass fucking word. That's exactly what they do. They just say YOLO. Fuck it. Go in and try to beat you. 
they need to spring the trap on them. So that'd be good. And we're going against Ant, what a Antonor? You're setting a card, so this is automatically activating because I don't. There's no reason to wait. There's an instant fusion, so that must means this is the instant fusion. Uh, nope. Is this, oh, is this Paleozoics? Most likely. No. Going up against this damn deck. So now I'm just going to Black Rose the shit out of you. Yep, because there's no, no reason not to. There's no reason not to. There's really no reason not to. Um, I could do normal summon this one. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I think I just want to know. I think I just want to do that. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Hmm. There's no other way I can see. I can do that and keep my normal summon. I think that might just be a little better. Yeah, that's a lot better actually. That's a lot better to keep the normal summon. Let's see what he has. Vanity's emptiness. Do you have an emptiness, bro? No, you, you you have that. Okay, I'm just gonna chain this. So you probably okay. Oh wow, that was a very good hit. That would have that would have broke my soul right there. Um, let's do this by targeting the reflect bounder. No, it seems like he has something else that is reactive. Oh, he doesn't. Let's send this. Let's do it again. Targeting your Reflect Bounder. Making him level 6. Discarding this Mizuki. Use Mizuki. Get out the Sarah New Smith. Oh, he's letting it go. Is he letting it go? Can we Black Rose? Can we? I love. I mean, I love Black Rose so much. If this goes through... I just love Black Rose, man. This is... I used to hate this card so much with a fucking passion. Like, no lie, I used to hate this card. Oh, fuck. I got an auto-chain disorder. That's the auto-chain disorder. Auto-chain order. <laughs> um, that didn't matter. Uh, we're going to search the Chief Priest. Because we're going to do some good, neat plays. We're going to do some neat, neat plays right now. We're going to do you. Use you. Get the one out of the graveyard. Then proceed to give everybody what they need. Uh, by going into this man named Spectral Sword. I'm really starting to like Spectral Sword, man. I'm really starting to like it. It's actually pretty cool. Um, the waiting thing really sucks, but hey, you know what? When you do get it off, it is pretty good. So I do like that aspect. So I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe it can go back into the main deck. Maybe it can. Because with Terra Top, you can't just go into a level 8. So that's, that's a cool thing to do, I guess. So, I mean, it gives you, that's, that's horrible. I didn't want to draw. Why am I drawing? Is that literally, yes, I've literally... I have five. I've never. I'm just the only spell to trap I have drawn. Um, why didn't you chain that? Never mind. Select two monsters on the field. Neither player can use the monster. Select the zones. Cannot select the occupied zone. So this is going to be over quickly because I'm pretty sure this is not going to be. Um. Oh, I thought it was not going to be a Norden. Oh, where's the S? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Whoa. Didn't want to do that either. Um, let's hold that. And let's wait until these numbers disappear. And there they go. And you get stroked. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's so disgusting. And he quits. Oh, he's a trooper. Antonor, I give you. Wow. This is literally. This is the only deck I probably would have won against. Uh, that's 48. Well, you know what? That's game. So, you know what? I'm not going to do it to you. You did. You did not quit. You stayed alone for the ride. So, I applaud you, Antonor. Um, this was an awful, awful hand to end it off with. But, hey, we did get some Eidolon. Um, 
You did get some added on gameplay. So yeah, that is uh that is it for this deck. Thanks, shout out uh thanks, props, uh shout out to Dwayne McFadden for uh giving us the deck to play. I really did enjoy it. Like I said, the only thing the only changes I would make uh would um you know what, let's just give one last look at the deck profile and be right uh, and then we just talk from there. All right, so yeah, like I said, the only thing I probably would do is probably add um, uh, the zombie fusion. That is probably the only thing because this can fusion summon for anything. You don't need to um, you don't need to go into these. So you can add like uh, I mean I guess the only thing really in here is the like I said the zombie sink Earl, the Nether Soul. It's not a zombie. No, I just, did I say zombie sink Earl? No, the the. Uh, the fusion for zombies because it's not even a zombie itself is a dragon you can go into that by ditching cards out of your hand and so it's like these are like if you like you if you draw one of these you can just still make it live so that's that's the only thing but you know you don't have to add that because i do not know really what to take out the extra deck um everything is just yeah uh this card is really good when you when i when you remember this card is in your extra deck everything just you know that's just it's smoothing it's fine because you can just put all the shit you like summoned with Spectral Sword back. Pretty sure you're not gonna summon this without without Spectral Sword. But I'm saying like uh, when you banish like these two, like if you go bam, if you go like do this and go into this, and then go into this, and then like you got 55, you hit with 55 or some shit, and then like next turn they kill this, and you put this back. You can just banish these two special this put these two back and so now you still have your two zombie synchros back in your extra deck so you can continue to use spectral sword so this card is just great so i would not take this card out no um bills probably this is like i said this is the only other card i can see taken out but even with that i love me some bills but yeah that is a personal preference you guys can do whatever you want if you guys decide to make this deck list or play with this deck list um yeah so that is it for this week um, next week, I'm going to give you a little preview of what we will be playing. And bam, this is what we will be playing. Random Bob Sauce did send this deck list in. He said, hey, you know, if you, you know, he pretty much said, hey, do you want to try out a deck list? Um, or can he send me a deck list to be more specific? That's what he said. And then I said, man, sure here. Let me let, go ahead and let me see. Damn, I'm fumbling over my words. But yeah, he sent this because uh, he was going to go to YCS anyway, but personal issues did get in the way. And uh, this is this is is this bad, man? It's it, it's very bad. It's like it, it's the like it's it's just bad. But um, I don't know if he wants to really talk about that, so I'm not gonna pretty much disclose what he's told me. But yeah, man, the personal issues uh, I guess got in the way, and he could he was not able to make YCS Anaheim. So um, yeah, that uh, he told me this is what he was gonna play. Um, like I said, man, if I would have went to YCS, I definitely would have played. Why did I put this in? I think, I think he was playing Terror Top. I'm not ter I think he's playing Totten Tom Board. Um, so let me go ahead and fix that. Nope. Nope. Okay, wait. Is it an N in there? No. Okay, well. Let's just do this. Is it right next to each other? Okay. So I'm pretty sure he was playing this. I'm pretty sure he wasn't playing the other card. But yeah, man. Uh, <clears throat> this is the deck we will be playing with next week for the next week of zombie vids so yeah uh this card look it, it this card could solve some of the problems because you can um just special summon it back with like mizuki or something and then bam get his effect uh actually well yeah by the zombie i'm surprised he doesn't play zombie master a lot of people that's a lot of decks i don't i see that just don't play zombie master which is surprising this card right here is very i was really thinking about playing it um, because this is an extra just return to the graveyard so this card is very good i really like this card i was playing it um when i first when this card first came out i did play it um did not really i didn't never i never drew it so i couldn't you know sit here and be like oh it was bad but i just i just never drew it but this card is pretty good it can counter against avcs and it all helps you when you do pot of desires and stuff or you can just put back like a ride to the full heights or you can put back something like that so yeah, that is it for today's video. Once again, shout outs to Dwayne McFadden for lending us his Eidolon Zombie deck. And also shout outs to Random Bob Sauce for sending us this deck list for next week so we have something that uh, we can play. So yeah, without further ado, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. 
And as always, if you did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like. Let me know what you think about the video by leaving a comment down below. Also, subscribe if you have not. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. on the dot. So you guys get three videos a week, um, all featuring zombies. So if you do like zombies and stuff like that, definitely subscribe. This is your zombie channel. And also, if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel, which would be very, very helpful. And I would very appreciate it. So, yeah. Um, have a great weekend. And I will see you guys.